Hello. My name is Adewale Ifaloa. I'm one of the doctors in the practice. Can you um confirm your name and age for me, please? Yes, doctor. My name is Amy and I'm 35. Oh, that's great. And what would you like me to call you today? You can call me Amy. Okay. And I understand that you are here to discuss some issues with me about your son. Am I right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Do you mind if you um if you are able to confirm his name for me, please? Yes, his name is Jason. And um, how old is he? He is one month old. Oh, okay. That's great. So, Amy, um, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm well, doctor. Oh, that's great. Nice to see you today. Um, so, I understand that you want to discuss um, immunization with me? Yes, doctor. I okay. Yesterday, I got a letter from my GP about the immunization. And I had questions. So, that's why I booked this appointment. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, can you... Um, Tell me, um, I, I, I just need to ask a few, um, what's called questions to, 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 to be able to address your questions. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, um, how is he now? How is your son? Yeah, he's all right. He's doing really well. Okay. Um, is he at home or he, he, he or he, or he is there with you? No, he's at home. Okay, that is great. Um. So, um. Is there any um, issue with him now? Is he eating well, drinking well? Yes. Any fever? No. Any rash? No. Any tugging of the ear? No. Okay, and uh, how is the stool? Fine. Okay, and uh, are you happy with the number of um, um, nappies that you change? Yeah. Oh, that is great. And then just a few, um, what's gonna, um, just a few, uh, just a few, uh, um, questions about his uh, health previously. How is his health, um, previously? Yeah, he has been all right, doctor. Okay. Has Has there been any issue since you've um, delivered him? No. Is he allergic to any medications? No. Is he on any medication at the moment? No. Is anybody in the family with any um any health uh, issue that uh, you want me to know of? I don't think so. Oh, that's great. And um, if I may ask about his pregnancy, how is preg pregnancy? It was all right, doctor. Oh, that is wonderful. And um, how was his um delivery? It was a normal delivery. Oh, that is great. And then uh, I suppose he has not had any um, immunization sensations so far? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And is he eating well and feeding well? Yes. Okay. And um, so far, is there any stress so far with you? No. Okay, that is wonderful. Um, Is there anything else that you want me to know? No. Okay, that is wonderful. Um, so um, I'll be discussing um the immunization with you. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So what do you want to know about immunization? Why he need that? Okay. Well, immunizations are important for um babies because uh, it helps to actually protect them against um, diseases. Are you following me so far? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So um. I understand that he's one month. Uh, he, he, he is he, he, he will be due for his uh, immunizations in a two weeks. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, um, what immunizations um are you thinking of? Are you, do you do you have any reservations about him taking any immunizations? Actually, I don't know, doctor. He's my first child, and I'm really worried why he I should be giving these vaccines to him. I really don't know. Like, why I should be giving these viruses? Because I was reading through the Google that these vaccines are actually dead viruses. I don't want to hurt my child by giving it. Hmm. I understand. Uh, and uh, every mother will have a number of concerns. Yes, that is true. And um, I appreciate your concerns. But I want to tell you that immunizations are, are very safe. And um, and uh, I don't, we, and we don't, 
who are not afraid of of giving um, children medication because it it helps to actually protect them. So um, I I think uh, and there are lots of things on the internet that are not very true. It's better um, and I'm very happy that you are here to actually confirm those um, those inf information with me. Um, but, but doctor, my child is all right. He's not having anything. So even without these vaccines, he should be fine, isn't it? Well, he, yes, I, I understand that um, that um, at this time is fine. But that is exactly the reason why we want to give the immunizations because the immunizations, they help us to anticipate these, these diseases before they actually happen. So it is, a, it is, it is designed to protect the the um, Jason so that it does not he, he doesn't get infected and and in the event that it gets infected it doesn't suffer a severe form of of those um, diseases. Mm, okay, doctor, but which diseases you are talking about? Okay, there are, there are, there are, there are, sorry. Six minutes. Okay, there are a number of um, infections that. Um, that um, um, that uh, can cause a ch childhood illness from measles to chicken pox and polio, diphtheria. Um, don't worry. At the end of this consultation, I'm going to give you a leaflet that is going to show um, that is going to give you more information about all these all the um, um, diseases and the vaccines that we're going to be given. So, are you going to give all these together, doctor? Don't you think these are a lot to take in at this? Like he's just one month old. Mm. Yes, I understand. These immunizations are actually um they are actually um scheduled immunizations. So that means that we give them at intervals, and there are times that we give them a group of immunizations together because it helps to reduce the burden of having to inject them at every point. So these immunizations are designed to help. Okay, doctor. Is there any other concern that you want me to... to um... Yeah, doctor, you were telling me that these are safe, but still there might be some side effects as well, right? Well, yes, that is true. There, there are some very rare side effects of vaccines, but um, I want to tell you that those um, those side effects are very rare. The, the serious ones are very rare, but there are common side effects that can happen at the site of injection, like pain, at the site of injection, like fever. But those ones are usually not an issue. Which we can give them in paracetamol, and um, most of the times, they are very fine. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want to know? Yeah, doctor, but still I'm not convinced. I want to think about it. Are these okay. vaccines mandatory? Well, um, they are actually mandatory because um, it doesn't just uh, prevent your child from getting these um, infections to also protect other children. Don't worry, I'll be giving you a follow-up um, date so that we can talk about this better. But at any point that you have any concerns, I'm ready to listen to you. Okay, all right, time's up. Thank okay, you thank so you much. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Ifi. So uh, we will... Uh, I'm just stopping this one. And uh, so, Dr. Hafsa, can you share your screen? Mm, yes, sure. You, uh, you are having oh, I think uh, you... one and a half minutes. Uh, then we will start, OK? All right, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so your one and a half minutes has started. You can read the task and plan yourself, and then I will let you know when we need to start the scenario. Okay, no seat.
Okay, so are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, start. All right, Dr. Vincent James in number 790042. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm Dr. Vincent, one of the doctors in the surgery department. And um, may okay. I confirm your name, please? Uh, yes, I'm Eliana Smith, and I'm 50 years old. All right. So how would you love me to call you? Uh, Liana is fine, doctor. All right, Liana. Welcome to the department. So, Liana, I understand from you know that um, you have some concerns, you, and then I'm here to address them. So how may I help you, Liana? Uh, yes, doctor. You see, I'm having this problem with my, my vision. Uh, I'm having some blurry vision for the uh, past few days. Oh, sorry to hear about that, Liana. Um, mm -hmm. um, I, I must come here for coming to the clinic, and uh, I can assure you that we'll get to the root cause of it. Is that reassuring? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. please. Okay, can you tell me more about the blurry vision? Um, yes, doctor. Uh, actually, it started like three months ago, and I'm really having difficulty in performing my daily work nowadays, so that is why I'm here. Oh, three months ago, that's quite some time. Okay, so how have you been coping with it? So, uh, uh? uh yes, doctor. Um, uh, it's it's really getting difficult nowadays. Uh, because sometimes I do bump into things, or um, this blurry vision does cause me some incon. Uh, uh, I I become really uncomfortable sometimes. Okay, Lena, don't worry. Oh, uh, you're here today, and would help you out. So, um, Diana, any uh, apart from the uh, so as this, you, you mentioned that it's been it's been getting worse, right? Yes. Is there anything that makes it better, or that makes it worse? No, doctor, not anything that I noticed of. All right. So, is there any acute pain? Uh, no. The pain. So, is there any other any other symptoms you are feeling? Apart from uh, this, no, doctor. It? No, I just uh, sometimes feel that my um, eyes become red as well. But otherwise, uh, this blurry vision is really causing me problems. You, you mentioned that your eyes become red? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. All right. Um, okay, Um. any headache? Uh, no. Okay, uh, any weakness in any part of the body? No. Uh, okay. A any any flashes of lights? No. Any floaters? Yes, I do have these floaters sometimes. Okay. Do you get uncomfortable in the bright lights? Uh, no. Okay. So um, I'll be asking you some questions about your general health, Diana. So uh, are you being managed for any medical condition? Uh, yes, doctor. Um, I am diagnosed with uh, polymyalgia rheumatica for some time now. Okay. How long have you? How, how, long, how long has that been? And what do you use for for heat? Yes, uh, it's been seven years now. Ten years. That's quite some time. So, how do you? Uh, what do you use for heat? Any drug? Yes, I have been put on steroids. Okay. And are you regular on it? Yes, I'm regular with it, and the symptoms are controlled. The symptoms have come to hold, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good to know. So, um, are you, uh, apart from the, uh, apart from the steroid, are you, are you on, are you on any other medication? No, doctor. Any allergies? No. Okay. Any family history of, of similar condition? Uh, no, doctor, I don't remember anything like that in my family. Okay, so any family issue of any known disorder, any any health issue? Yes, my father had uh, some blood pressure problem. Okay, how is he now? Yes, he is doing fine on medications. Oh, that's fine. That's good to know. And then how, what do you do for a living? Uh, doctor, I'm a retired teacher. 
Okay, and um, do you smoke a bit a bit about your social life? Um, do you smoke? Uh, no, doctor. Of alcohol? No. By any chance, do you do recreational drugs? Mm, no. All right. Thank you so much for your, for your answering my questions. So, how uh, would have you given a thought to what might be causing this? Uh, doctor, I'm not really sure uh, about this uh, because I have been using glasses for some time now, but uh, this vision is really not improved with my glasses as well. So I'm I'm just concerned what's what's causing this. All right, okay. Your your concerns are very valid. Mine, why when do you start using glasses and what's prompted the glasses? Yeah, it's uh, it's been ten years now, and um, I have been put on glasses, and I went to my optician to check my vision as well, but it was fine. Okay, thank you for that information. So at this point, how would I'll be examining you? I'll, I'll be this in the presence of a chaperone. I will ensure your privacy, and mm -hmm. um, I'll, be, I'll be checking. I'll be doing a general physical examination. I'll be checking your heights. I'll, I'll be checking your. Uh, I'll be doing a special test. Was visual acuity, and then how would be uh, you know, using a special a special instruments? How like I would also be checking um your vision from different angles. Let's just say a special test, and then how would be giving you a shot, you know, as a, um to check if you have um any defects with you know um recognizing colors, and then how also be using a special instrument, you now as a phonoscope to check the back of your eyes. Is that uh, fine? Okay, doctor. Yeah, sure. All right, thank you very much. So, so here um, are your findings. Okay, All right, Lana, from the questions I've asked so far and from the examination findings, I suspect you might have um, what we know has, um, okay, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, <laughs> what we know has uh, uh, cataracts. Okay. So, do you know what that is? Uh, no, doctor. I, okay, I really don't right. know. Okay. Uh, all right. So, how? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Flow. Cataract is uh, due to the history of the drug you've been taking. You mentioned you've been on steroids for ten years, and steroids mm -hmm. is no for causing cataracts. So. It's a, it's a condition whereby the length length of the eyes become become um become less transparent. Like their light is meant to pass through them, so sometimes they become they lose their translucency. So in that in that case, you might have a um, distortion to your vision. So um there's also a possibility, though I will discuss with my seniors to be sure, because you mentioned you had um uh, you are experiencing flutters. Which um uh okay so I will discuss with my senior and uh, I will ask for their input. I will let you know whatever they say. So at this point, I would also uh give you a refer to the uh to the specialist, uh known as the opt opt ophthalmologist. They would assess you. Do you would you love to know what they would do for you? Yes, sure, doctor. All right. So um they would you know they might request for some text for the text. To you know, um, you know, um, to be sure to to, to confirm the diagnosis, and um, they might you know um do uh, surgery for you, remove the lens and replace it with new lens, and then uh, uh, they might also you know um you know um do please you on some medications too, and uh, it's possible for for your medications to be reviewed. You mentioned you've been on steroids, so it's possible for the medications to be reviewed too by the specialists. At this point, do you have okay. any concern? Okay, your uh, your time is up. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. So, uh, thank you, Dr. Winsett. You performed really well. What do you think about your performance? I think I missed my diagnosis. It's floaters in the eye. It's actually retinal detachment. I'm not too sure. So it's not cataracts, actually. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but I think floaters, floaters is suggestive of something that has to do with... Um, I'm not exactly sure, like, uh, huh? I can't, I'm not exactly sure. I've forgotten, actually. I can't, I've forgotten. But it, it's, not, it's not cataract. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, no worries. So, um, 
uh, when uh, your exam is when, please? When is your exam? Oh, my exam is September. September. Okay. Yeah. So, um, for how long have you been uh, like preparing for the exam? Uh, both in months now, in months. Okay, so I, I really appreciate the way you presented. I was just thinking that you are having uh, an exam uh, like in a month or so, but you really have time. So um, any other uh, person from the uh, uh, today's meeting who wants to add anything uh, to this performance you can write in the chat. Anyone who thinks that, uh, or who knows the diagnosis, because it's not cataract. So anyone who knows the diagnosis, please come up in the chat and write it down. Okay, let me give you a hint that it is one of the new scenarios that has recently come up in the GFT exam. Okay, retinal detachment. So, Dr. Uzma, uh, one of the things that we see in um, retinal detachment is um, uh, she will mention you that there is a curtain that is coming down. It will not be the blurry, blurry vision, okay? Yes, yes. And Dr. Nafila and Dr. Winsett, now you got it, yeah. So are you here, Dr. Winsett? Yeah, I'm here. So what made you think of uh, toxoplasma now? Well, like how you mentioned this uh, is a recent station. So I've been seeing it because they've been posting tosoplasmosis a lot of times. But I was thinking in tosoplasmosis, like history of, uh, well, maybe I didn't have pet history by Yeah, yes. And, yeah, like and that and, is what you missed. I mentioned well, I, you that. I asked, I asked for your, okay. I asked for the work you do. You said you're a teacher. Yes, I was a teacher and I am retired now. So, uh, to be on the safe side for all the eye cases, as uh, they are um, uh, bringing toxoplasmosis a lot of times, and you do miss, if you do not ask specifically about the hobbies or whom do you live with or do you have any pets at home. So, you need to specifically ask these questions to reach this diagnosis. Otherwise, you would miss it. Okay. Are you following me? Uh, yeah, we're following you. Yes. So um, it came in uh, one of the mocks as well. And uh, uh, the student performed the same. And they missed um, uh, about the social history. That whom do you live with? And how do you spend? As uh, the, uh, the person told you, the patient told you that she is retired now. So just to increase your IPS points, you can randomly ask this, uh, this patient or any other patient who is retired that how, how are you coping with your life now? And what do you do in your free time since you must be having a lot of time free? Okay. Yeah, not it. Yes. So uh, secondly, um, let's talk about uh, the station that you did. So you, uh, I mentioned you that um, I'm having this blurry vision. Okay. So uh, you said, I'm really sorry to hear about that. Uh, personally, I really uh, uh, don't appreciate that the doctors, they um, say sorry to the presenting complaint. Why? Because uh, this is uh, how the patient has presented to you, okay? So it is basically our profession and we need to see the patients, right? So we, we should not use IPS in, in such a way that we don't need. For example, like um, if, if I'm saying uh, to a patient that I'm really sorry that you are coming here, would you think that any other uh, professional person who is uh, dealing with they are, they are like, we cannot say this, but they are like customers to us, right? So we cannot say to them that, 
that, uh, okay, I'm really sorry that you came here. Are you following my point? Yeah, following you. Yes. So uh, if you want to say sorry about the uh, difficulties that she is having, ask about the effect of these symptoms. As you asked uh, about the effect, and I told you that, yes, it's really disturbing me now and I'm feeling uncomfortable. So um, that was the right place to add that I re I'm really sorry that you are going through such a hard time. Okay, just just don't try to say sorry uh, in the beginning of the conversation. Okay, and next, um, you uh, did ask about the pain. Can you tell me what disease uh, you had in your mind uh, apart from cataract? And you also asked me about your uh, headache as well. So you had the meningitis as well in your mind, I think, right? Yeah, I was thinking of possibly op optic neuritis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you ask about the pain uh, as well. So uh, basically, um, when I told you that I am recently bumped into things as well, so you you should think of age related macular degeneration, right? Because they bump into things when the things come in front of them. All right. So uh, basically. Uh, cataract was right uh, as a DD, but not the diagnosis because uh, she has been put on steroids. So uh, yeah, it is one of the chances. But uh, since she was regular with them, you can ask uh, if, if a patient is having a prolonged disease and specifically such kind of disease in which uh, she is using steroids as medication, try to ask that, are you uh, regular with your follow-ups uh, with your GP? And are you um, getting checked regularly for the side effects of steroids? That really helps you in the steroid scenarios regarding the diagnosis. If they say no, we are we have never been checked for the side effects. That then you can be sure of that it must be some side effect of the steroid. But if she says um, uh, I have been regularly checked by my GP for the side effects and they were normal then you would know that it is not cataract or anything that is caused by the steroids. Uh, secondly, uh, regarding the age-related macular degeneration, we can ask about the baby lines, okay, bumping into things uh, that are coming in front of you or um, sometimes when there is a darkness in the center of the vision, unable to see the things in the center. Okay, then uh, coming towards the, today's topic, which is one of the new scenarios uh, we are having these days, it's ocul ocular toxoplasmosis, okay? So the most important thing that you missed uh, is you didn't ask which eye is it. So you need to ask about every eye problem, every ear problem, that which side is it? Because if it is cataracts, cataract usually does not happen uh, in both eyes at the same time at same levels. So if it even if it, if the cataract develops in both eyes, um, the patient may say that I can see a bit better in the right eye. However, in the left eye, it is not really good. Okay, because they do not the lens do not opacify equally in both eyes at the same time. So um, it will be blurry vision for a longer duration, that will be three months or maybe more. Uh, it will be in both eyes, okay? And you need to ask about, try to make a habit to ask about pets history in every eye scenario. Believe me, um, it will take 0.1 second of your consultation, but it will really help you in your um, gauging the diagnosis. It will help you in your time management as well, because you once you ask about the pets, if she says, no, you, you are done, you have crossed the ocular toxoplasmosis. It's not there. So she must be having, um, in this scenario, she would be having a lot of cats at home and she would be dealing with their feces as well. So uh, another history that she gave was PMR for quite, quite a long time, for seven years and she has been on steroids, that, that means that she is immunocompromised, okay? One of the risk factors could be uh, the use of glasses as well, 
but it's it's not really important in ocular toxoplasmosis. It can be there, or it cannot be there. So um, you don't re really need to be worried about. It. If anyone has any question or um, uh, any problem regarding what I'm saying, you can type in the chat and I will definitely try to answer, okay? Dr. Winston, you, you, can, uh, you as well, okay? So, so the risk factors in this case are presence of cats and immunocompromised patient with bilateral uh, blurry vision for a duration of three months or more. Now, um, Ask about regarding all the other history that we maftosa we have. Okay, any past medical history uh, is done, uh, medication is done. Then regarding the family history. So Dr. Wen said a very good uh, thing to add here is uh, try not to ask any family history of any disease. Do not bring the family history word in your consultation. Okay, try to ask it differently like, um, uh, anyone in your family having any long-running illnesses or any similar illness? Try to uh, ask both these questions in one line so that it will save your time and the patient will answer you immediately uh, if any long-running illness or any such illness has been running. So try to uh, try to gauge your consultation in a time-saving pattern. Uh, try to ask um, minimal questions and getting maximum out of it. Uh, yes, you are. Uh, sorry? Yes, thank you. I, I got that. Yeah, sure. Uh, Dr. Winston, I, are you okay with the way I am uh, I'm telling you your mistakes? Don't Please don't find it rude or anything. I'm just trying to correct yourself so that you will perform better. Okay? Just don't take it to, to your heart. I really appreciate your efforts and the way you presented. I really appreciate it. Okay? Uh, yes, sure. I will be. Um, uh, I will be explaining the fundus finding shortly uh, when I will reach to uh, uh, to the examination part. So um, you will uh, in the examination you will mention that yes, I will be doing your general physical examination. It is safe to say that your observations, uh, if there is any specific observation uh, which will be important, for example, in infection cases, you need to mention temperature. I will 